Selling shoes, selling sneakers on Amazon can not only be extremely lucrative, but for a lot of guys, it is actually, you know, more enjoyable. The process of actually looking for shoes for a lot of guys that are actually starting and even, you know, uh, guys on the, on, on the younger side of things is actually more enjoyable because most guys actually like sneakers. So in today's video, I'm going to give you three tips to actually run an online arbitrage business selling shoes, reselling sneakers on Amazon effectively profitably all you want all right so uh, this is what we're going to do in today's video before we actually dive into this first link in the description i am now offering one-on-one -on -one coaching if you need help if you need someone to mentor you to help you scale your amazon business all right to build a plan to help you build a plan to avoid making mistakes this is one of the best things to do get a mentor link in the description go call with me so we can build a plan and actually follow you second thing we have a discord server for this channel best place to actually start networking with other people because this is one of the things that is going to help you get ahead as well all right so join the discord server link in the description and uh come and go with us all right come talk to people and join the live calls when we have them we haven't had one for a little while now but uh, yeah just join and um let's hang out together all right so without further ado the first tip that I am going to give you for reselling shoes, and this is really, really for beginners because I know that this can be attractive um, when, you, when, when you actually start, but it is going to be, do not go for hype shoes, right? Because this is not where the money is, right? If you do not know what hype shoes is, for um, those of you that are not in the sneaker world, hype shoe, hype releases are shoes that are really limited in supply, such as if you, probably you wanted to get one pair not too long ago, um, the, the, the Nike SB Dunk Panda, the black and whites, um, they are, they are, I don't even think that there are limited release, uh, I don't think there are general release either, but like usually, you know, there's the things that are general release and there's the limited release. And um, the really limited release such as those, such as Jordans, a lot of Jordans, um, you know, Yeezys, all that stuff. Do not look for those shoes when you try reselling sneakers on Amazon. This is not where the money is. Yes, you can still resell uh, Jordan, stuff like that. You can still resell Dunks, but mainly like this is not going to be where the money is. You know, like if you want to resell Jordans, for example, um, Jordan 1 mids are a good pair, like are good shoes to resell on, 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 on Amazon if you actually want to make money, all right? Uh, if you go for really like the, 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 the old school Jordan, all right, like the Jordan 3, Jordan 4, there's people, there are some people that actually do resell them, but this is not where the money is, all right? So look for, do not look for those, look for general releases shoes, this is where the money is, and you can usually buy way more quantity and make more money that way. Uh, if you want to get into sneakers reselling, like limited release, stuff like that, this Amazon is not going to be the best place to do this. You can still do this with um, StockX, with eBay. Uh, I really enjoy one guy who makes video on the subject. I forgot his name. Um, whatever. I'll talk about him in another video or maybe in the comments. I forgot. I really like his content. He's an Asian guy. And uh, he got good content on that. But like, if you want to sell, resell shoes on Amazon, uh, do not go for limited release. This is not where the money is. All right. <laughs> Whatever. Forgot his name. I totally forgot. Second tip. All right. The second tip I'm going to give you is you can go white. The great things with shoe is like with shoes, with sneakers is that on the same listing, there's a lot of variation, not only with size, but with colors. So you can go white with just one listing. You can start going white because you can split the load in between different sizes this is the first thing and second thing in between different colors so different colors is a little bit more tricky but with different sizes you know most of the time it's always going to be the same sizes that actually sell for shoes all right if you buy like sneakers and stuff like and you'll get used to it you'll know which size sells all right but um you know sometimes yes of course you want to go for the sizes on the listing that sells the most but sometimes there's not enough data to determine like for, for some sizes that you know may sell super well and it's a great opportunity to actually come and dominate the listing uh but most of the time you want i, I think that when you buy shoes when, when i buy shoes personally to resell i try to buy at least three different sizes all right Some, sometimes only two but most of the time like I, I try to get at least on three sizes of a listing uh, and what you're gonna notice is by the way that 
a lot of the time the variation that you thought was going to be the best is actually the worst one and like vice versa the, the variation that you were thinking was going to perform the, the worst is actually the one that performed the best because you never know sometimes the variation that is setting the fastest like has a huge increase in the number of new of new offers while the one that you thought was going to do the worst does not have a lot of sellers jumping into it so split the load because you never know um, it's better to not put all your eggs in the, si the same basket even though i believe that um, i believe that uh, i forgot the words i'm sorry um, diversification here you go even though i believe that diversification when you reach a certain point is for dummies uh, when you say when you sell shoes like go a little bit wide go on different sizes just to edge your position a little bit all right um, not only just to edge your position a, a little bit but like do not go do not put all your money on the same size split the load in between sizes and uh, sometimes what you can do and I talked about that in the previous video what you can do is sometimes you know that certain sizes sell because you can just look at i'm talking about a listing that has multiple sizes and multiple colors variation right sometimes you see that a color is not like a color is selling good for one specific size but it's not selling for sizes that you know sells fast because you can see that by by looking at the same size for other colors right the only reason it is not selling fast most of the time is because nobody is, uh, has actually tried to sell it all right so on those listings you can jump on them with a few units to try and maybe more if you are more confident if you've done it a couple of times but this is a great way that i've been able to actually dominate listings without any competition and sell my inventory fast because people are scared to jump on those listings that do not have reviews but sometimes the only reason why they do not have reviews is because nobody has ever tried to sell them and it makes sense that they would sell because it's the same size as another color that is popular but the, the 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 color that you like the color that you want to jump on is popular but not for that size i don't know if you get what i mean but like you'll get it like and i have a whole other video on, on selling shoes where i look at the lead list uh, if you want to see the whole process you can look at this video i forgot what the name is i'll link it here if i remember i will probably forget i'm sorry in advance but if i forget let me know in the comments and um so yeah you you can like go wide and try variation even though they have no reviews if you think that it's a size that makes sense because the specific color is selling fast and the specific size is selling fast on other colors as well right put two and two together it's not difficult it's not rocket science uh this whole business is easy so yeah put two and two together try stuff experiment and you will learn all right so yeah go wide and we are going to go to the final tip for this video and this is one of i think this is something that is not discussed a lot on amazon especially with content creators and uh, i'm going to be super specific uh, because this is something that I will do when I will run my shoe operation. So I, I, I told you guys that. And by the way, if you f if you if you are still watching this video, this is the tip that is going to be the most helpful for you. Okay, for you guys. This is something that I will do 100% once I start my shoe operation. So you guys know that I'm dialing back a little bit and that I'm focusing on only one specific category of product, one specific brand, and one specific. Uh, type of item i'm not saying too much but once i'm going to have maxed out this specific thing i will start probably a shoe operation and one of the things that i will do is and that you need to know is when you source shoes if you do reverse sourcing you are going to find a lot of websites of small local shops that you can source on all right that you and that do not necessarily look legit but you can do a little research on them and you are going to find and you want to you want to find a lot of those websites because there's a lot of money to be made over there because people do not source there um you want to find a lot of websites a lot of small sneaker shop like when i'm talking about small i'm talking about two three locations three to five even up to five locations but that are really local all right so for example in miami we have a shop called Unknown, all right? Uh, there's two locations in Miami, one in Adventure Mall and one in Wynwood, I believe. And so stores like that, it's, it's a small chain. It's owned by LeBron James, by the way, if you didn't know. But like, it's a small chain that if you do not know, if you do not live in Miami, and I think it's still quite famous because of LeBron James, but there's like really smaller shop in Texas, like smaller chains, like in Texas, in a lot of 
places in a lot of states where you can find uh, that are actually legit and that do not look legit, all right? That do not look legit because you've never heard of them. They sell a lot of shoes and sometimes for good price, those sales are for really good price. These websites are usually gold mines because not a lot of people are sourcing on them, all right? So you want to like, you want to find a directory of all the small sneaker shops, small like local sneaker shop um, that you can find and look at their website, look at their sale. Get your VA to look through their sales. Sometimes they have shoes that sell fast. One, because I think that you should actually start um, with big websites such as Nike, Kohl's, um, you know, uh, I don't know, Dicks, all those websites when you actually start sourcing shoes, adidas.com. But after, after that, when you start reverse sourcing, you will start to know a lot of the shoes that sell fast. And it's always going to be the same models. I'm not going to tell you all the models, um, but you, you can literally ask ChatGPT if you want, and it will tell you which Nike shoes sell fast on Amazon. And you can just use the Keepa Product Finder, by the way. I'm not, I'm not even sure why I'm saying this. But you can literally use the Keepa Product Finder, and like, if you reverse source a lot, you're going to know which model sells fast, all right? And I told you already the, the, Air Chanda, the, the Jordan 1 mids, are good in a lot of colorways. Um, so what you want to do is find those small local sneaker shops, and a lot of them have websites in like that, that you can order from. And uh, there's a lot of money to be made over there. A lot of them do not cancel, do not really cancel. And uh, you can look through the sales, or you can get your VA to look through the sales and find some shoes. All right, this is something that I did a little back before I actually switched to what I'm doing right now, but this is something that I will go 100% deep in once I actually start the shoe operation that I want to start, if I actually start it, all right? I think that once I'm maxing out what I'm doing right now, I'm going to expand with the shoe operation. This is definitely one thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to go to all the local shops, all their websites and source them, all right? Because there's a lot of money to be made from small local shops selling and there are some shops that um that specialize in some brands of shoes for example there's some shop like i know there's a shop in texas that specializes in like a chain like a, a chain of stores that specialize in new balance for example and uh, a lot of people do not know them but what you want to do is if you stumble upon those websites look at their address because you will you will be able to find the address on their website all right look at their address on google street view look if this is a real shop if the if the store exists if it does there's probably a lot of money to be made because they have some inventory sometimes that is not moving that's going on sale for super cheap that you can get and resell on amazon there's a ton of money to be made right there and um yeah so you want to do this is one thing that you want to do and i think that this is the most important tip if you actually want to build a shoe operation a sneaker reselling operation on amazon this is where you should look at all right yes there's money to be made on the big websites but there's a lot of money to be made on the small websites as well with less competition all right so keep that in mind if you want to start a sneaker reselling operation on amazon this is what I'm going to do, and I don't even know why I talk like I I I, I talk so low because like <laughs> I'm <literally laughs> whatever. Um, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. I hope this video was helpful. Leave like, subscribe, do all that stuff if it was. Um, yeah, watch these other videos on the screen if you want to keep learning about selling on Amazon. My name is Chris Mangunza. I release a new video about selling on Amazon every single day. I hope this one was helpful. I'll see you tomorrow. And as I always say, if you don't see me tomorrow, probably something bad happened to me because I will not stop releasing a new video every single day for the whole year as I promised. All right. So if I miss a day, check on me. All right. I'll see you tomorrow.